Hey, this is the quick three minute version of the dent repair using compressed air in a hair dryer. Uh, that was the question that was asked if a hair dryer and compressed air can really repair dents or not. So I tested it out. Now I have a longer version that will be available in the description if you want to see it, but many of you said that you know it's too long, it's about 15 minutes, and you'd like a shorter version. So here it is. Anyway, I am heating up the first dent. I'm going to test three. And the first dent I heat up as much as the hair dryer will, will allow it. And then I get the compressed air and I turn it upside down so that it freezes that area. So I heat it up and then I freeze it. And that's what, uh, that's what you're supposed to do with this compressed air to see if it works. So anyway, I'm, I'm freezing it and I do it a couple of times to make sure that it, you know, it's good and, and cold. Now on this first dent you will see, it's kind of hard to see these dents in this video, but uh, the first dent, it, it did not work. You know, I heated it up with hair dryer, froze it with the compressed air, and you'll see right here that, you know, the dent's still there. So it did not work. And I've also heard that this is supposed to work for hail damage. So I have a small hail dent here, and again, it's very hard to see in this video, but I promise there is one there. So I heat it up with the hair dryer, just as hot as the dryer will get it. Now, you know, a heat gun would get much hotter, but that wasn't the question. You know, the question was, would a hair dryer and compressed air? So I heated it up, and I froze this one. And uh, again, you know, when it was all said and done, after it was froze, I wiped it off. And it's hard to see in the video, but it did not remove the hell dent. And if it removed any of the three, I thought it probably would remove this one, but it didn't. So for me, it didn't work on hell damage. So I go to the, the third dent, and it's one that's, uh, they say, probably will work on more. It's a little bit more shallow dent, and uh, I tried it on this dent. I'm just showing here that the dent's still there. And over here I'm trying it on my third and final dent. And uh, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but there's a it's a kind of a shallow dent, a larger dent. So I froze or I heated it up with a hair dryer and uh, then I froze it. And I sp spent a lot more time with the hair dryer on there, but uh, the other video I think was a little bit boring, you know, because you're sitting there watching a the hair dryer heat up paint. But if you want to watch the full version, it is down there. But I I Heat it up just as hot as the hair dryer would get it. And on this one, I used the compressed air to freeze it. And I knew this was going to be my final dent. Uh, so I hit it, and I hit it a couple times. And you'll see here why I just, you know, hit it, I think, about three times to make sure. You know, I knew I could waste the can on this one. So I applied a lot of the uh, compressed air on this dent, hoping that it would repair it. There you go, I'm spraying it again. And here I'm wiping it off and it did not work on this dent. Now, many of you have claimed it does work, and it probably does on certain dents, but it didn't work for any of the three dents for me. Well, there's my three-minute version. Thanks for watching.